Hey what's going on guys, my name is Brad, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another Legacy of the Duelist video. Today we're moving on to Declan vs Selena, so it's going to be DDDs vs Lunar Lights. Uh, Lunar Lights one of my favourite uh, Arc 5 uh, archetypes that have been introduced, and it's a shame that they didn't get too much support, because obviously if you've caught up to date with Arc 5 you'll know that the Bracelet Girls didn't really get too much of a great treatment in that show. But regardless, let's, let's see what we can do, see if we can beat Selena with these DDD monsters. haven't actually played with them before, so I've been against them a good couple of times and I don't know why we're running DDD Dragon King Pendragon when it's not used in a standard DDD decks, but we're also missing a Pendulum Scale, so we can't really do much, I don't think, turn one, unless we... Okay, DDD Buffer Mat. Once we turn, we can target one DDD monster, uh, declare a level, it becomes a level. You can also special some monsters apart from DDD monsters, fine. Um, let's play Dark Hunter with the game, and let's set, okay, yeah, let's activate Dark Contract and grab, okay, he's five, kind of want S Savant Galilei, because that's gonna f give us the best scale possible for what we have in our hand right now. Um, but then again, uh, okay, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good effect. Um, but. I don't want to use it yet because I want to wait to get the other one, which we can get next turn with that. So I'm going to set DD buffer map, which is kind of weird because I don't think I've ever seen a DD player set a monster before. But let's see what Selena can do. Okay, another blue cat. Oh no, that's not okay. It's a white rabbit. When it's called normal summoned, you can target one little monster in your graveyard or summon it. Oh, that's got a great effect actually. And once per turn, you can target spell trackers, you can control up to the number of other Lunar cards you control and return to hand. So, regardless, we'll be able to get our Pendulum Scale set next turn. Uh, regardless of, okay, now she's going to a Fusion Summon. Three, is that a Leo Dancer? Maybe? I can't remember if that's in the game yet. Yeah, okay, yeah, it is. 3,500 attack points. Damn, right. She could have used her uh, thing's ability, surely. Uh, can I be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects? Okay, he's got protection from that. Can I make a second attack from each battle phase? Okay. And destroy us. Wow. That's a bit of a ridiculous, uh... <laughs> wait, wait. Yeah, that's a bit of a ridiculous card. Because... She can just... this? Okay, no, I was thinking of doing something else. She can just blow up all of our DD D monsters because most of them are going to be special summoned. Okay, we're going to take a thousand because of that. Fine. Uh, let's see what we can do here. So... That will let us, let us fusion summon, which we kind of want to have out. Uh, no, I'm going to activate Dark Hunter at the gate, and we're going to grab uh, Savant Kepler. Yep. Now, I still can't ever, I don't ever get this right. I believe if uh, the pension monsters are used for a fusion summon, they go to the graveyard, they don't go to the extra deck. And then Savant Galilee. So what can we activate? Okay, we can activate DD Human Resources, which gets shuffled into the deck, and then you can add two DD monsters. Okay. Uh so we can pendulum summon these three. Now we've gotta work out how to get rid of that Lunar Light Leo Dancer. Cause right now I have no idea, so we're gonna Pune defense. I think we should be able to do it next C summon. Uh, 
do, 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 do. Summon up Pendragon. And then... This gun also has some type 1 DDD monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. You can only activate the fake monster turn. You treat one of the monster turn. Ooh, yes. Nice. Okay, uh, we're now going to... Uh, what can we do? Let's have a look at extra deck first, just to see what we've got. So we've got DDD Wave King Caesar. Uh, not great. Haven't got a level 5. We've got 8 and 7, so we'd either make it 8 or f 4. Do Duo Dawn King Kaliluga. So I guess we'd go for that unless we go for... Right. Uh... Right, okay, let's do this. So we're going to go DD Buff Map, target that, and that's going to become level 8. We're then going... Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay, because I didn't have a DR. Wait, what? Once per turn, you contribute one other DD monster, then Tiger or monster your opponent controls and banish it. Why can't I do that? Oh, shit, because it can't be targeted or destroyed. Okay. Um, right. That's a bit of a problem. So, we could... Act like human resources, and we're going to go for the guy in our graveyard and the two pendulum scales. And then we're going to add... Who do we want? I have no idea. Swell Slime. And Necro Slime. Because... What I'm thinking here... Is we can get two of them out of this turn, but they won't make. But there's no point because that it'll get destroyed anyway. Um. What do we do? <laughs> what do we do? Right. So. Once per turn, when attack is declared involving this card, you can target one other DD or Dark Contract card you control. Return it to the hand, and if you do, equip one face-up monster your opponent controls to this card. Except the battling monster. Okay, um... Um, <laughs> wondering what we do here. So maybe we go exceed summon into Kaliuga. Apologies, this video is actually really going to be really long. Um, I'm still trying to trying to learn this. So we go into you. Okay, so then a gated, right. That makes things a bit more interesting. Because now we can go Swirl Slime. And we can summon Oracle King Dark. 
by using these two. So I might have to sacrifice our Kali Yuga. No. Activate effect. Necro Slime. To summon another Oracle King Dark. So that's going to be 5600 points of damage to Selina's knife points. But we want more. <laughs> we want more, so... Uh, after this card is Xyz summoned, first turn, yep. Once per turn, you can attach one Xyz material from this card, the short spell trap cards on the field. Detach one to set one. And we've got these two guys. So... Yeah, I think... We can activate this ability. And get rid of you and just destroy all of them, get rid of you and set you And then suicide, suicide that, and then attack for five thousand six hundred. I think that's the best way forward. Like, if you guys know any other way I could have done that scenario, then uh, feel free to let me know in the comment section. But let's see if Selena can do a comeback because she, yeah, she, she, she's pretty much done. I mean, she's literally got. Let's put you into attack position. Summon you. We can then, just for the fun of it, make this dude level 4, and uh, bring out King Caesar. There we go, and then, nope. we go into? Marksman King Tell. Ah, oh, nah. We're fine. We're fine as we are. We can attack with you. Hopefully that should go through. Yep, Panther. Why? Why was Panther Warrior in our deck? <laughs> okay. Maybe it's a Beast Warrior. Maybe that's uh. That's why, and they didn't have enough space to fill, but there we go! Like, was that three turns? Oh, three of our turns to beat uh, him? Her? Wow. Okay. Um, got a new deck recipe, got a new avatar. Got a bunch of cards, some duel points. And that is it for today's Legacy of the Duelist video. There'll be a Duel Links video up a little bit later today. Hopefully you guys look forward to that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. See you then.